Hair transplant is a very commonly done procedure nowadays and with good surgeons and experienced staff you can get very good results but choosing the right doctor can be quite a task. So today I am going to give you some tips on how to choose a hair transplant surgeon. Hi, I am Dr. Vikash Sharma, I am MD in Dermatology and a member of International Society of Hair Restoration Surgeons. So today I am going to share 8 tips which you can use to finalize your hair transplant surgeon. The first thing that you should notice is that the doctor should be either a dermatologist or a plastic surgeon. Both these specialities are good at forming hair transplants, uh, so you should uh, try to figure out what the qualifications of your doctor are and preferably get it done from these doctors. The second thing that you should look at is the before and after photographs. You should discuss your particular surgical plan in detail according to the pictures that you have seen. Whether such things are possible in your situation or not is also another question that your surgeon will be answering. Also you should see the natural hairline, the density of the results and all such similar things. The third thing that you should do is look or preferably meet the previous patients in person, look at the results in person so that you know what all has been done in the past and so that your expectations are set accordingly. The fourth thing that you should be keeping in mind is the knowledge of the doctor. This is somewhat similar to the credentials also. So you should be able to understand what the doctor knows and try to ask as many questions as you can. You should be able to understand what the doctor is planning for you and what your ultimate result will look like. So this involves a lot of detailed planning. So keep on asking questions as to what angles the hair will be planted in, what will be the direction of the hair, what density are we expecting, whether it is 40 grams per centimeter square or 35 grams per centimeter square and so on. The fifth thing that you should be looking at is the supporting team. They should be trained, qualified technicians. They should be working with the doctor for a long, long period of time so that there is synchronous involvement in all the aspects of the procedure. Also, the technicians must be extensively trained in hair transplant. The sixth thing that you should be noticing is the technique of the surgery. Now, whether you want to go for a follicular unit transplant that is FUT or FUE or instant implantation with FUE, all these things should be discussed with the surgeon beforehand. You should be aware of all the pros and cons of the surgery, whether that particular technique is suitable for you or not, uh, will have to be analyzed by the surgeon. The seventh thing that you should keep in mind is the post-operative care and follow-up. Uh, different doctors have different protocols for treating the patients after the surgery. So try to understand your doctor's protocol and try to follow it as rigorously as religiously as you can. The final tip is that you should be able to communicate freely with your doctor. You should be able to tell what you wish to have, what your preference of hairstyles and all these things are so that the doctor takes all these things into consideration before giving you the final plan.